AMC Tiny 2019 Problem 4. A box contains 28 red balls, 20 green balls, 19 yellow balls, 13 blue balls, 11 white balls, and 9 black balls. What is the minimum number of balls that must be drawn from the box without replacement to guarantee that at least 15 balls of the same color will be drawn? So let's first just write down what we're given with. We're given 28 red balls, we're given 20 green balls, we're given 19 yellow balls, we're given 13 blue balls, we're given 11 white balls, and we are given 9 black balls. Now, we're trying to find that without replacement to guarantee that at least 15 balls of a same color. So, the number of balls within each of these colors, well, they are different. And the number of balls within each color must be greater than or equal to 15 in order to satisfy this restriction, that at least 15 balls of the same color. If there aren't even 15 balls of the same color to start with, then we cannot ever hope to satisfy this constraint. And right off the bat, from looking at this, we see that only red, green, and yellow balls have a n total number that's greater than or equal to 15. And we cannot consider blue, white, and black within this possibility because their numbers are less than 15. So from here, we can begin. We are trying to find the guarantee. What does it mean to guarantee? Well, the guarantee means that whatever we do next, it will always satisfy this restriction that at least 15 balls of the of the same color will be drawn. So how do we ensure that mathematically? Well, since you're trying to find at least 15 balls, if we ha already have 14 of one shy than the total number that we're supposed to get, no matter how we choose it, we will have a guarantee that this restriction will be met, correct? Think about it. If you don't understand it, really think about this. We have to guarantee it, and there's no other way to guarantee it than if we guarantee that we already pre-chosen these 14 balls out of the box. And since there's no replacement, they will remain outside of the box. So after taking out these three 14 groups, we will be sure to be left with a possibility that at least 15 balls of the same color will be drawn. But what about the rest, the blue, white, and black balls? If we already pre-drawn out 14 balls, we have to do this first of all in order to guarantee it. But have we really fully guaranteed this? Well, after we did this, there's still one red ball left within the box, one green ball, one yellow ball, and these, th these three remaining ball colors. If we draw another ball, now that we have already pre-chosen these 14 times three balls out of the box, we still have a possibility after drawing the box to picking out a blue ball a white ball or a black ball. So we cannot guarantee that the next pick will immediately be a red, green, or yellow. So in order to, therefore, guarantee that the next pick is either red, green, or yellow, we must also take out these three balls population. And that is the same logic for why we need to take out 14 of each red, green, and yellow ball in the first place. So to, to sum things up, we get 3 times 14 to be the number of balls that we need to take out for red, green, and yellow, added with the blue, the white, and the black. Because again, after we take out the 14 balls of each color, red, green, and yellow, to have a number that's greater than 15, we cannot guarantee, which is a criteria within the question, we must guarantee it. We cannot guarantee it if these three balls are still in the box, because we have a possibility of picking them in the next pick. We want to be sure that we can immediately pick these one of these three balls the next pick. And we cannot do that if these three balls are still in the box. So we must add them to be the number of balls that we must take out before we draw. And summing this up, this becomes 52 plus 33, which is 75. Now we can guarantee the next pick will surely be a ball that's either red, green, or yellow. But wait a minute, what does it really say? What is the minimum number of balls that must be? be drawn. Well, by drawing out 75 balls, which leaves only one red, one green, and one yellow ball in the box, we still have not satisfied this criteria, that we have not chosen 15 balls out of the box that are the same color. And you see here that they are very sneaky and gave you two answers right here. So it makes you double think yourself. And it's very important to read the question very carefully at this point, which says that we must at least guarantee that 15 balls of the same color will be drawn. This number, 75, has not fully drawn out 15 balls of the same color, so we must add one being our next poll because the next poll will be guaranteed 
to be one ball of the three colors that can satisfy the criteria that at least 15 balls of the same color will be drawn to get us 76. So our solution will be answer choice B, not A.